Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Thursday, 7th of September 2023. These trades were shared by MG, who's trading Dow Jones CFD. As you see, the macro chart was in downtrend. And if you look at chart, we see that there was a complex pullback. And using a smaller trading chart, we took first a sell short position on the downtrend move. And then when the price started to go up, during the complex pullback he took this long position and when the sellers came back and the price was showing downtrend he took several positions based on algo 1 to 5 and the results of these trades are shown here so thank you mg for sharing your trades with us the next few trades were shared by yan or global instructor who is trading nasdaq cft as you see the daily chart is in downtrend and you can see also in other 4 hours and 30 minute macro chart the downtrend channel and using the structural 5 minute chart you can see the downtrend channel gained momentum after the news so he entered here with breakout and took this runner and managed that with good risk reward ratio then again after completion of pullback he re-entered with setup C another sell short position and also managed and closed it also with good profit so thank you Jan for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trades that I have taken today on Thursday 7th of September 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures. If we look at the one hour macro chart, we can see that the price started to go down during the Asian and London session. And then during the New York market session, it tested this level of the low and the price got rejected and bounced back. So during the New York market session, uh, this uptrend wave at 9.30 that was going up till 10 o'clock. I took sell short on Dow Jones and long on the S&P 500, mostly with setup B, because these two were more trendy compared to the NASDAQ. Then for the NASDAQ, I waited for this uptrend wave when the price got rejected here and bounced back. So from 10.20, I took long positions, as you see here on the end of this wave using setup T. I know there's several B more here and set up C and T were taken on the NASDAQ. So all these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts with different ratio. As you see, the result was positive, reaching profit factor of 1.56 with 65% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 0.8. And the largest winning trade was 150 and the largest losing trade was $291. So hope this trace taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.